let's move into our next segment, Miles. Uh, that's, of course, what we like to call Motorsports Update. And this is typically a segment, guys, where we uh, look into Nissan's current motorsports portfolio and its race entries and the teams that they support and look at uh, how those teams are doing or have been doing in the last couple weeks. Uh, actually, Miles, you have the first one, which is Super GT still happening, still going on. Is that right? Yeah, you know, with uh, with Super GT, there's really not much going on. I mean, Super G finished out the uh, Super GT finished out the series. Of course, we want to give a uh, congratulations to the uh, Nitear Moto Z uh, for their placement um, in the series. Um, they had a strong uh, finish, but uh, I mean, Super GT for the most part is kind of done. The championship series uh -huh. is uh, finished right now. We don't okay. have a new series until the next one begins. What was funny is uh, as soon as the championship ended and we, you know, all race teams don't ever really take a break. They kind of just, they celebrate the win or they work on what they, they put a plan together, but it's crazy that Nissan was already pre prepping for the 2024, all their new Z's were mm -hmm. already starting um, to, to go into preparations as it were so the the prep that they've already been doing is and the rumors that are already circulating is that again the new nissan 2024 z um, is actually one of the fastest vehicles that's on the track um, at this time during prep which was how it was in 2023 and there was some great successes that kind of came from there so mm. yeah also awesome. we hope that it's gonna um, come to fruition for we have uh, another uh, Z on the podium uh, this upcoming year for the 500 series. So, yeah, that, that's great to hear, man. That's great. Uh, I've got the next one here, which is, of course, Nissan Challenge. Uh, that's our buddies in Southern California uh, having a this year was uh, eight rounds. And here actually this upcoming weekend, you know what? Edgar is a part of this. It's probably what he's doing in the garage right now. He's preparing for this weekend. Uh, November 25th, this Saturday, we have round seven of the Nissan Challenge at the Streets of Willow. Uh, this is at, uh, of course, um, uh, was it Streets of Willow here? Uh, it is part of Ars Day, which is a GTR Skyline uh, festival. And uh, we'll actually be talking about that later on in the show as well. So uh, for those of you that are in the Southern California area and um, uh, you've got uh, Willow Springs International Raceway in your area, I would say, especially if you got family in town and you want to kind of show them something cool that's kind of happening, shoot, go out to the uh, go out to the racetrack, man. Have some fun. Check out some cars racing. Uh, a lot of good guys. A lot of fan. A lot of uh, information that you can kind of pull from. And uh, you know, who knows? Maybe you'll get the bug, and you want you'll want to compete uh, in 2024. So uh, that is happening again this weekend. Uh, keep an eye out for that. For that. Honestly, man. That's all we've got for motorsports. This is actually probably one of our shortest motorsports updates uh, this this year because it is just kind of winding down. We're into the last uh, last month of the year. It's getting cold. Typically, uh, uh, a, a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the seasons, racing seasons, are coming to a close or have been uh, at a close right now. But uh, that that is motorsports. It's hibernation season. It is for those guys. I mean, you've got a few challenges that are still going. The California boys still got good weather out there. They're slowly creeping into turbo weather. So yep. uh, yeah, we'll see if uh, if that makes a change on any of the lineup and the final uh, rounds that are upcoming for the Nissan Challenge. We'll see. Who knows? So. Yeah. Uh, we did get a comment back from Edgar in our comment section, though. He did say, "Yes, he is putting his track tires on." That's one of the things that we're doing. <laughs> Uh, he also says, you know, I, I would imagine being part of that Southern California weather is that they go year round. That's one of the perks of being uh, in that part of the country, man. Great weather all year round. So go for it, man. Take advantage of it. 